Hi, welcome back to Fighting 50. Nikki and I have got some exciting products to talk to you about. We're in autumn. Yes. We haven't been doing actually a, a monthly review for the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. I think you've been busy, I've yeah. been away. So it's quite nice to be back with some new products. Nikki, what are you kicking us off with? So um, really for me, the selection I've chosen today is kind of all about stuff I'm using now and also maybe stuff that's good for sort of going into potentially sort of party season, heating season, that kind of thing. Yeah, winter, everything changes, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So um, the first one I want to introduce you to is a self-tan brand called Isle of Paradise. Now this launched probably about six months ago now, maybe a little bit less, um, into Boots. It's actually, I think, more widely available now. And it um, is a brand that's been created by a guy called Jules von Hepp, who... Oh, yeah. Jules is a really big kind of celebrity, celebrity tanner, um, A-list, red carpet, that it's like kind of thing. Tan master, isn't it? Yeah, and um, he obviously was using you know other brands and that kind of thing, and then he decided to create his own brand. Now, um, when you go into store or you look online, you'll see that there's different products. I actually chose the water because I tend to like a spray, but there's different textures. But the interesting thing is they have colour correctors in them. Oh really? What sort of adapts to your skin So tone? yeah, but also for example the green one actually helps to minimise any redness in the okay. skin. Um, there's a peach and then there's a violet, so peach will be brightening, violet is more neutralising of kind of sallowness, very much like um, like I would do in makeup. And he was saying that, you know, when he was kind of tanning on the red carpet, what he sometimes used to have to do afterwards was then apply colour corrective makeup. Yeah, so, so you're correcting after tanning. Yeah, so this is kind of an all-in-one. Um, so the green is actually billed as being medium, um, and then I said there is a light and then a deep. Um, but the, you're not really a tanning person. No, are you? but sometimes I, mean, I just like to just do a bit, bit on your color. arms yeah. or something like that. Um, what I will do is I just have a little bit of a spray, but it's it's super fine. Yeah, which is really nice because it's got a fragrance. I would say a tiny bit cucumbery. It's rather nice, mm. isn't it? Very just fresh really and fresh. Um, but actually, you know, I would do it from sort of six to eight inches, and then um, I just go over. Just for my sanity, I just go over the tanning mitt. Um, but it's—I mean, you can see it's dry already. Um, so I would use this, and I use this um, in the summer months, just on sort of arms and legs and that kind of thing. Is it good on legs? Because yes. that's the one area that I always want yeah. to have. And what's really good is it works, you know, from behind Spray kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I was really impressed and, you know, there was a lot of hype around it when it launched as there is a lot of these kind of things, particularly if they come from a kind of celebrity sort of artist or tanner, um, but it really delivered. Okay. So um, it's on a couple of other retailers online now so we'll put the link with the video but yeah I bought mine in boots and I think there was a deal Expensive? as always. No, 1895. That's pretty good. Um, Is it 100 mil? 200. 200? Yeah. Even better. Yeah. And I mean I, I bought that at the end of, well probably about July, um, you know. And it's What's good, good, it's also good for travelling. Yes, isn't it? yeah. Really nice yeah. for travelling. Yeah. It's actually, I think it's probably the same or similar bottle to the Vichy product that we talked yes. about. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tanning water. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Um, but you know, no residue left, um, no funny smell and no streaking. Um, vegan, parabens free, all of the usual things as well. Sounds so great. yeah, I like so, the yeah. Check out um, Isle of Paradise website as well because it's got lots of information and tells you all about jewels and that as well. Fantastic. Right, as we're transitioning sort of uh, summer to winter, I had a conversation recently and someone said to me, yeah, but I don't need to use SPF all the time now. It's like, yes, you do. I mean, you look at it today. To. Yeah, it's beautiful. London this last week mm. has been really sunny, clear blue skies. It's been glorious. But you do really need to still protect your skin. And I don't think we've ever recorded a video no. and not talked about SPF. But for me, I find that, you know, in the summer I can use an SPF and maybe just a very light tinted moisturizer mm. over the top. At the moment I'm using, still using Murad City Skin and often putting um, 
Ariane Paul's mm -hmm. skin tint over the top, which works nicely. But I was looking for something that did both jobs. Mm. So a color cosmetic product with a good SPF. And by coincidence, Philorga, a brand that we both like very much because it has a lot of uh, clinical research behind it. French brand that's, uh, I'm just giving it a good shake because I do think with anything that's got sort of colour and yeah, um, active some. ingredients it's worth mixing. So this is called Flash Nude and it is a SPF makeup, an SPF 30. It's got a tint and you use it as you would a foundation. You'll see it does actually warm to your skin tone. This looks a little bit light, but this is actually the zero one medium. I hope you can see that. It's got a very fine texture. It's very lightweight. Um, the only criticism I have of it that there's not many colors. There's actually a lighter color than this. And that's about it. I wish there was a bigger range. There may be in France and there may be later on. So you've got hyaluronic acid in here which is helping to really plump and hydrate the skin and you've got niacinamide which is helping with environmental aggressors. Yeah, it's really popular um, at the moment, nice Yeah, and it really does help to protect the skin, helps with pollution. So you've got, you know, we hate the anti-aging um, sort of tagline, but you have got product ingredients in here, active ingredients which are going to protect you against free radicals, going to protect you against pollution, it's going to be working with your skin during the day as well as protecting it and offering you a tint mm. which I think is good. You get a really lovely glow with it, it's not, um, it doesn't have that slightly drying no. effect that sometimes you get with a, an SPF 30 or higher. So I've really enjoyed using it, I just find it really comfortable to wear mm. lasts all day and you know that you've just you're just putting that one layer on rather than doing an SPF and then doing a foundation especially if that kind of you know looking at it now it still looks and feels like yeah. summer yeah but it's actually coming into winter so I really like this product it's 30 pounds you can buy it online um, look fantastic it's got it we'll put the the links underneath um, I'm hoping there's going to be a few more mm. colors because I think it could do with one slightly darker it's always it. difficult with skincare brands um, when they start venturing into color they all start with very limited yeah and I can understand why but I love the packaging it's very very mm. sort of Chanel it is very it? Chanel that, yes um, yeah Vita Lumina it is isn't it very much like it but it's got that nice lightweight feel and very hydrating I mean mm. we've got it on mm. you? you can feel but really nice. So that's the Philorga Flash Nude. This is uh, 01 and I'll put all the details under the video and also if you go to the website there's there's more information And the is website. that going to Marks and Spencer if people want to go and look at the colours? It's, I'm hoping it mm. is. I haven't actually seen, this only launched about two, three weeks ago at mm. most. So sure. I'm hoping it will go into Marks and Spencer's, but it's certainly already on Look Fantastic. I'm going to check. If it is, then you can go in and try the yeah. colours. Okay. But um, but certainly, if you're of my sort of skin tone, I would definitely go for the Zero One, the nude. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so kind of continuing the theme of um, adding a bit of colour, um, except mine is all about full coverage. So for those of you that have followed us, you know, one of the things you'll know is we tend to talk a lot about kind of tinted moisturisers and natural finishes on foundations, but things that will kind of perfect but look like skin. So um, a while ago now, um, Makeup Revolution, bought out, first of all, I think it was the concealer in the Conceal and Define um, range, and then they followed it with a foundation. Now, I actually bought the concealer um, because I was looking for a replacement for sh Tarte Shape Tape. Yeah. And Tarte Shape Tape is a great concealer, however, it's 28 pound. Um, generally you can only get it on QVC, lot, so yeah. you've then got postage, so that's a lot for a concealer. So Makeup Revolution, as they often do, were kind of billing this as a bit of a dupe. Now what is interesting is um, this and also the following foundation come in 24 shades, yeah, that's um, which is phenomenal. So 
I bought the concealer. Now, for those of you that know Shape Tape will know that it has this amazing, great, kind of large doe foot um, applicator, and this has the same. Now, both of these products are about medium to full coverage, but what is interesting is they are actually pretty lightweight in texture. So, have you tried this one? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I actually like it. I, I find I need a very small amount oh. and I need to buff it into yeah. my skin. Yeah. So, um, the, Trace has got the concealer. This is the foundation, and again, interestingly enough, and this is actually quite cool. It does come with a jumbo doe foot, which I'm sure you can see. So how I tend to do it is I actually put it on the back of my hand. And like Tracy says, you do not need much. Um, and it will give you a, this is actually my color, which is seven. Um, it will give you a medium to full coverage. I either buff it in with kind of a, um, a flat kind of artist type brush mm -hmm. or a bounce it over with a beauty blender. Um, but it gives an amazing finish. It's really nice. Anything for me, I find it, it really looks like make, makeup. My yeah. skin looks like I've got makeup on. It looks great. Mm -hmm. I would use it more at night than I would during the day. But again, I use one of the big fat Nancy brushes yeah. to just really kind of buff it in so it looks more like it's mm. in my skin. Yeah, the other it. thing you can do if you feel it looks too makeup like for the day is to put a drop of something like the Bodium Birch Superfood Oil in. Yeah. Um, just to give I'm yourself going to a tell bit you about hydration. That in a minute. That's but exactly what um, yeah, for me, um, it works well during the day. And then what I do, as I said, so 24 shades in each, from the fairest to the fair, like kind of really ivory, right through to a great deep tone. So what I tend to do, um, so I've got seven in the foundation, so the conceal and de I've got define, ten, I um, and then I've gone down to three in the concealer because I use it around my eyes so I want that brightness. When you go online or if you go into store the one thing I would say is they don't go like yes one is the lightest but there's then shade, shade variation so yeah. you know seven and three is not that far apart. No. Um, but go in store and have a play they're in most of the big super drugs now um, or you can go on Makeup Revolution site but four pound for the concealer um, they do a jumbo one for I was seven. I was going to say there's a super size as well um, isn't there? And nine pound for the foundation. Yeah. So yeah and glass. It is really good. Uh, glass bottles so yeah so Makeup Revolution of, of again um, done a great job and I think we were you know we always talk, looked at them as being okay for things like eyeshadows and things like that but when somebody starts to do foundation well at that price um, it's really good isn't it, it? the textures are lovely yeah. I mean really nice texture smooths on the skin nicely lasts well um, I like everything about it I've got 10 and 10.5 mm. and um, I, I think it's really good but for me personally I, I prefer it at night rather than during mm. the day. Mm. I just prefer something a bit lighter, mm. but it, it's excellent. Okay, now, if I had to choose my kind of desert island product, I think I'd go for an eye cream because mm. I just, I've always thought it's the area that seems to look like it ages quicker than anything else, the skin around the eye. And also, if you've had a late night, you've had mm. too much alcohol, um, you sat in front of a computer screen all day, all these things seem to contribute to your eyes looking tired yeah, and, and, and skin so thin. Um, you've got 10 years to go, in 10 years <laughs> time. In 10 years time, you'll go, you know you're all right. Um, so I'm always looking for a really great eye product and I've got to say I am excited to tell you I found it. Temple Spa Eye Truffle. They started off by launching this, uh, the truffle range and it started off with a mask and there's a elixir, a really great serum that I'll tell you about some other time because I want to concentrate on eye truffle. Eye truffle is the, the latest release and what is exciting is not only have I found it to be absolutely fantastic but so has Good Housekeeping. Mm. And you know that they are quite stringent in their mm. testing um, and they give the products to a lot of people and they get a lot of feedback. Oops. So this product's actually designed to combat dark circles, puffiness, lines. So it, it's a multitasker and Good Housekeeping actually scored this 
88 out of 100, which is pretty high, mm. I think. So have, have a feel. It's a, it's a cream. I'm going to put it on here because I've already got um, makeup on it. So it's a cream base. It's very, very lightweight and it absorbs very quickly. So you can literally put it on and then put your concealer on pretty much straight away and it won't move. And I've found it to be really hydrating. Christmas. So it's got some very interesting ingredients. It's got black truffle, it's got champagne, it's got uh, gold and silver. It's got a, a number of unusual ingredients. Um, but what actually is exciting is that it really does lighten and brighten and tone, so lines look better. Um, to be honest, I like everything about it. It's not cheap. It's 15 mil and it's 65 pounds, which I, I think is quite expensive. But if I know it's going to really work, um, I'm happy to invest in it because I don't have lots of different eye products. Mm. Um, whereas you might have different skincare products because you kind of want to mix it up. Yeah. Eye product, I tend to, if I've got a really great one, I stick with it, I use it until it's finished, I then go and replace it mm. either with the same thing or something else. This one I would most definitely replace. This is a press sample, but I will definitely buy this. And I also had a reader write to me recently um, on Messenger from Facebook saying I really need a good eye cream you know what can you recommend I've got puffiness you know my eyes look tired and sore and she bought it and she's quite a tricky customer I have to say and she said she really likes it it's really worked she's seen a difference and I must say I get up in the morning even if I've had a late night in the computer and my eyes you know, I think the line, well, mm. you can see, you're mm. close enough. Yeah. I think the lines look definitely softened, skin looks hydrated, it's a nice it looks texture. smooth. It's a lovely texture. I mean, I particularly like Temple Spa eye products. Windows to the Soul has been one of my favourite products for a long time. I've actually got it on my desk and I often during the day just tap it in. But for me, this even tops it. It's, mm. it's a really nice product. I like the packaging as well. Yeah, it looks cute. Yeah. And it's nice because it's in an airtight pump yeah. as well. So yeah. I truffle, 15 mil, 65 pounds. Have a look at the Temple Spa website. It's really, really nice. Um, and a very giving company. The only problem I've got with these, and I've just finished an eye product in a thing like it's... these, is you don't know when it's You finishing. haven't got a clue, and it really And you does. can't tell the weight either, no, really. You can't tell the weight, there's no way of seeing no. it at the back. No, I agree with that, because I always like to have the next one in yeah, stock yeah, yeah, yeah. before I run out, yeah. so yeah, totally agree. Yeah. But everything about this product has really appealed to me, and I, I'm seeing great results, and I don't want to give it up. So, there you go. Good. Okay, um, the final product I'm going to talk about today is a brand that you guys know that I work with and that is Way Hair Care. Um, this product is new, but I don't only really want to talk about it because it's new. I want to talk about it because I think it's something that's very relevant for this time of year. As the heating goes on, um, and also like I've just done a quick two day trip to New York, so I was in aircon and hotel and okay. plane and one of the things I often find is my scalp starts to get dry. Yeah. And, you know, we talk all the time about skin health in terms of, you know, sometimes supplements, sometimes what we eat, what we drink, um, the red wine, um, but we never talk about scalp health. And scalp so health is actually, you know, really dependent on, um, it's really one of the things that contributes to the health of your hair. But also, it's a continuation of it the is. skin on your face. It is, isn't it is. It? And you know, we know we get a lot of questions from you guys um, complaining about scalp problems and thinning asking hair. about sulfates and yeah, thinning hair and that kind of thing. So, we have brought out this product, as I said, it's literally just come out about two weeks ago, and it is the Scalp and Body Scrub. So first of all, you can totally use it on your body, in the shower, um, has the most amazing whey fragrance that you know that the shampoos and hair products have. Um, it's sugar based, so um, quite gentle, um, but the really, and coconut oil as well to hydrate the skin and the skin on the scalp, but the thing that is really exciting is it has probiotics in it. Oh, does it? So that really helps with the, the kind of defense system and the strength of your skin on your scalp. 
So um, you can see I've been using this. Um, can I smell it? Because I. Gorgeous. I love the smell of the way it is. It's just to die for. It's like the gardenia really and nice. the rose, and just fill a tiny bit. I've got a tissue here. Um, so how you use it on your um, mm, it starts to melt quite. Yeah. Quickly. So if you dampen your hair um, in the shower or um, at the basin or something like that, and then you almost part it like you were doing a collar. Yeah. And start to massage it in. It very very gently foams. Um, and then you rinse it in condition. Now, the other thing you can do is if you kind of want it to be even more kind of deep cleansing is mix some of this in with your shampoo. Oh, that's interesting. So um, I used this this morning and I really felt it wasn't, it was just a really deep clean, um, really comfortable. Um, my hair feels amazing. My scalp feels quite strong. Um, because sometimes when you, you know, particularly as I actually blow dried my hair today, because normally I let it dry naturally, sometimes my scalp feels a bit sore if I've been using a hair dryer and that kind of thing, yeah. uh, where it's been dry, but yeah. It only really leaves your skin feeling really yeah, nice. Yeah, so you can totally multifunction, um, use it on your body as well. But I've I think, everywhere. As you do. Yes, I but I think um, for this time of year, um, if you are suffering with dryness or you just want to kind of start maintaining um, the health of the scalp then take a look at uh, the way scalp and body I love that idea though of actually really having something that's going to stimulate your scalp because yeah. you're massaging it at the same yeah, time. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So you're really yeah, stimulating, really nice. getting the blood flow going. Mm. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I really like the idea of that. It's lovely. It yeah. smells nice. And it's a small amount goes a long way when you're using it on the scalp, so yeah. Great way. Well, I have a range here that's really got me quite excited because I think a couple of ranges have really stood out for me this year and they all have been packed with natural ingredients. You mm. may have seen Nikki and I spoke about Bodie and Birch recently, the superfood series, which we, we both totally fell in love with. And in a way, this range is actually quite similar. So it may be that that's appealed to me as well. But I think I've just enjoyed products that have got a lot of natural ingredients mm. that appeal to all the senses and, and really, really work. Mm. So this brand, S5, I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna start off by telling you about the cleanser. It's the Nourish cleanser which is ideal for dry skin and it is absolutely not but just before I say anything actually S5 was a range that launched in 2012 it's been relaunched 2018 and it's been reformulated so if you've seen S5 before it's by the same founder as Evolve Skincare does the name mean anything S5 Good question. I don't actually know. We need to find that out. <laughs> we need to find that out because somebody else is going to ask. I'll put it down. Well, that looks now, good. I want you to smell it first. Is it orange? No. Well, there is orange actually. There's orange flower water in it. I won't put your nose in no, it. No, 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 because I, I can't recognise. So, you've got... Mm -hmm. Now, just... Before you do, go on then, put it on. But actually, as you put it on your skin, you get a slight warming feeling. So just oh, rub, it, with it, rub right it in now. your hands and then pop it on, smell the fragrance and just massage it into your skin. You'll feel it will warm slightly and it will literally dissolve all makeup and SPF. But the smell is, oh my God, I just love it so much. It is so nice. So in here, I'm going to make sure I don't miss out any of the ingredients because it's got so many seed oils. So you've got sunflower, sea, uh, sweet almond, baobab, cacao, um, rose hip, pomegranate. It's got orange flower water. So what you've got is really good kind of vitamin C in there that's really nourishing. So it really does, I mean it's called Nourish Cleanser, but when you put it on, if you then add a little bit of water, it, it will turn to, yeah, I was it gonna ask that. Yeah, I and it will turn question. to a milk and you can rinse it off. Personally, I prefer to put it on, massage it in and take it off with a cloth mm -hmm. because that's how I like to use a balm cleanser. Mm -hmm. So that's how I use it. But you can just literally rinse it off. I use it as a first cleanse. Mm -hmm. I do then tend to do use it around your eyes. 
I don't because I always take my eye makeup off with my cellar water. Um, but you can, mm -hmm. it will dissolve makeup. But I just always feel I prefer to take my eye mm -hmm. makeup off first. See, I don't. I, I love to use a, a um, like the other bow. I use all, all around, yeah. yeah. Uh, I prefer to take my eye makeup mm -hmm. off first and then use this. But it's packed with natural ingredients, got this great. I just love this fragrance. Yeah, it's not. I, I couldn't identify because it it's just plant oil kind of smells. It's different yeah. plant oil, seed oils, mm. and um, it's got the the fruit water, orange fruit water, papaya no. in there. Just more plant is all I can say. Think I papaya. No, I smell. couldn't identify anything. It's it's just glorious. Mm. It's, so it's got nice, such yeah. a nice fragrance. It's also in the um, you know the dark glass, glass. Yeah. the dark glass that we like and. That is 100 mil and it's 32 pounds. It's available on a number of websites now, including the S5 website, and we'll put links underneath. Now, in the same range, this is the Replenish Serum, which is ideal for dryness. And again, it's a great combination. Look at this color. Let me just make yeah, sure I've got some in here. It's very, can you see that? So, I mean, the colour, a lot of it is coming from the sea buckthorn oil. Again, it's got this amazing fragrance, which I absolutely love. Now, this is packed again. It's got, just making sure I tell you everything that's in here, Arctic sea buckthorn, rosehip, jojoba. Um, it, it's got black cumin, pomegranate, cacao. You can smell so, the cumin. Yeah, so it has an antioxidant um, properties, so it's actually sort of cleansing that free radicals and things that are in the skin. It's helping to rebuild collagen, so it's boosting hydration. And I'm just completely in love with this. I love the fragrance, and I found my skin looks fabulous when I use it. Absolutely, I'm using it during the day, I'm using it at night, and also dropping a little bit into my foundation as well, just to keep the skin hydrated. But honestly, skin looks clear. I mean, you've got packs of vitamin C in there, uh, sorry, vitamin E in there, and what you've got is a, a plant-based retinol effect mm. with the cocaine oil. So, um, skin just looks completely hydrated, nourished, and clear. Again, nice bottles. The price is £52 for 30 mil. And again, more details on the website. If you look at the article, I'll go into a little bit more detail, talk about the ingredients. But I just absolutely love this. Yeah, it's that great. complete plant based smell. It's lovely, isn't it? It's so, it smells so natural, but also when you go to bed and you put it on, your skin feels completely nourished. Yeah, absolutely no fragrance at all in there. Oh no, it's all, um, it's all from the oils. It's all coming from those seed oils, really good seed oils. So have a look at S5, I'm honestly being really impressed. There's some other products, it's, it's a very compact range, just five serums, two cleansers, eye product, um, some really good products in there for for skin that's blemish prone. So take a look. And we'll find out about the name. We'll find out about the name. I, I probably did know when it first yeah, launched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know that it was actually mentioned for the relaunch, but I'll find out what S5 means. Mm -hmm. But uh, nice range. Good. So that's, uh, that's our roundup. We'd just like to actually thank Posey and Posey for these gorgeous flowers. We're going to be putting an article on Fighting 50 about flower arranging and mindfulness and you know getting back to doing these sort of traditional things. We're also used to you know picking up a um, a pre-assembled pre bunch, yeah. bunch of flowers whereas Posey and Posey send everything individually and then you create the arrangement. I think Nikki would have done a better job than me but I did this rather quickly uh, did yesterday. You do, did you used to do floristry when I was about 18 I think so yeah. yeah. so we should I should have let you do it but um, but absolutely gorgeous so have a look at Posey and Posey we'll put a link to uh, to their site as well I love the idea that everything comes yeah individually they're beautiful wrapped. as well the delphiniums yeah. and the anemones and freesias yeah they're nice, just nice gorgeous colors. but I love that idea that it all comes individual it's pretty, that isn't it lovely
It's actually and gorgeous and thistles. Look, yeah, I love these thistles. thistles and mm. it's so nice. Everything about it's lovely, and I love the little individual mm. packs where you create it yourself. So rather nice way of treating yourself or mm. someone else. Well, treating yourself, we was, we're going to start looking at gifting season. Um, yeah. I think we're, we're probably still going to be an advent advent calendar free zone. Oh God, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know, everybody seems to be doing advent calendars. Um, but I think one of the things, I think we might have done it last year, but one of the things that we are starting to look at, just because it's a good excuse for us to go shopping, is actually kind of personal gifting. And um, things, nurturing. Things that you need to kind of make yourself feel great um, in this kind of crazy season. And, um, you know, if you're feeling a bit fluey or all of that kind of thing, a bit frazzled. So yeah, so we're going to be doing gifting. We'll look at some men's stuff. Um, and then the other thing we are going to be working on for probably spring next year is maybe videos, it's not so much on kind of key ingredients like vitamin C, like we did, but we were talking about maybe kind of key challenges and the things that you could use for it. So whether it's rosacea, whether it is acne, whether it is heavy legs. So any, you know, so if you've got any kind of, things that you'd like us to cover, um, that you'd like us to research and uh, find products that would support, then let us know. Yeah, drop it below the video, anything in the comment box. So thank you for watching. If you want to know anything about these products, head over to Fighting 50, links um, at the top of the copy, just below the video. It's a bit confusing, below the video, top of the copy. I think they know by now. They know, yeah, they know I'll confuse you. And, um, just drop the comments below or send it through to info at fighting50.co.uk and if we can't answer them, we will certainly find someone who can. So thanks for watching and we'll be back soon. Take care guys, see you soon. Bye. Bye.